Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamics Academy. This is yet another video in a feature a day video series. In this video series we will cover the new features that were released with Microsoft Dynamics 365 9.0 version. On your screen you are able to see the various new features that were released in 9.0 version of Dynamics 365. We will see each of these feature in detail per video in this series. And at the same time, we will also see the various deprecations that are going to happen with Dynamics 365 9.0 version release. So this series is going to be very much useful and informative. So let us now see the feature that we are going to cover in this video. The feature that we are going to cover in today's video is multi-select option set, which is a new type of attribute that you can create with Dynamics 365 9.0 version. So let me now begin this video by setting up the agenda. We will first see what is multi select option set and then what are the things you need to keep in mind while working with multi select option set. And at the end, I will show you a practical demo as well how you can create a multi select option set in your Dynamics 365 instance, as well as what are the different functionalities that you can utilize with respect to multi select option set in your Dynamics 365 instance. Multi select option is a new type of field or a new type of attribute that you can add to any existing entity or in a new custom entity as well, which is simple to create with the help of UI designer. It is easy to configure. You can use form designer or view configuration to add multi select option set field to the form as well as to the grid. So you do not have to perform any extra activities. It is similar to how you create another type of field like option set two option set the procedure is same while working with multi select option set so it is so it is super easy to configure it and it is fully supported by the platform that means you can use multi select option set in your retry queries in your plugins in your custom code through sdk so it is fully supported by the platform itself you can even use the multi select option set in your advanced find and when you are working with reports as well and lastly it is end user friendly it is intuitive and easy to use user interface control as well let us now see what are the things you need to keep in mind while working with multi select option set it is a new type of attribute and a new user interface control you can leverage existing and new option set for creation that means Similar to how you create global option sets, you can also create global multi select option set as well. That means you can use an existing multi select option set or you can create new multi select option set for a particular entity on your own. It is supported in web client, advanced find and fetch XML queries, platform and client SDK as well as not in query in advanced find as well. So it is fully supported by the platform. You can use it in multiple places. Customizers can now add multi select fields to forms, quick views, and quick create forms, and read only and editable grids as well. So, not only on the forms and views, but you can also add the multi select option set to quick create forms as well as on editable grids. When you add a multi select option set field, you can specify multiple values for a field that users can select up to 150. So, you can add up to 150 options for a multi select option set. This is a screenshot of how you can create a multi select option set. It is the process is similar to that of how you create a new field for a particular entity. You can see a new data type has been added while creating a particular field. 
that is multi select option search you need to select this value in the data type field at the time of defining your new field for a particular entity so let me now switch over to my trial instance and show you practically how you can create multi select option set as well as how you can perform advanced find queries as well as other functionalities while working with multi select option set in dynamics 365 9.0 version so this is my trial instance in order to create a new option set you need to navigate to settings customizations and customize the system or the another way is to create a, your custom solution and add a new entity or add existing entity to that solution and you can add a new field to that entity so i am opening the default solution by clicking customize the system so this is my default solution you need to navigate to the entity to which you want to add the new multi select option set so i am adding a new multi select option set to the account entity and to add that field you need to click on the fields of that account entity and click on new button so the moment you click a new button on the fields so it will open a new field form like this so you have to give the display name it will automatically populate the name property which is the schema name or the logical name and the most important part is you need to specify the data type of that particular field so here you need to select in data type multi select option set so now you can see that it is asking whether you want to use an existing option set or if you by default it is no so that means you can it will be a local option set to account entity or if you select yes here that means you can select from the global option set list it will display the all the global option sets that are present in your dynamics 365 you can select one of them or you can also create a new global option set by clicking this new button so right now i am not creating a local option set i will create a new global option set called country and then i will map that global option set to this country field on the account entity so i am clicking new here here also you need to give the display name and automatically it will populate the new field now you need to add the different options to this so if you click plus sign here you can see and give a label name here i am adding five countries as of now so similarly you can add n number of options that you want to provide for this multi select option set so as of now i have added five values to this newly country multi select option set which is of type global option set so if you click save and close here so now i have created a global option set called country and after that you need to map that global option set here by selecting in this drop down menu so here you can see a new global option set is being listed here you can select that and click save and close after creating that field you need to publish this entity now after publishing it you need to add that field on the form so i am opening the account main form so now this is the form editor so here in this field you need to navigate to the country field you can see this is a new multi select pick list you can add that field on the form by dragging it so i have added this new country multi select option set below the account name i will also add that field on the active accounts view you can add to all the views in your entity but just for the time being purpose i am adding it to active accounts view in order to add a new column you need to click add columns and navigate to that field that you want to add i am selecting the country which is of type multi select option set clicking okay so now it has been added next to the account name so i'll save and close and again publish all customizations so after it has been published you can check those by navigating to the account entity i am first navigating to the account entity need to change the view to active accounts and here you can see that country field has been added next to the accounts name but still you do not find any values because we have not entered any values to any of the record so if you open any existing record i open a datum corporation account 
and if you click here either you can search the values by text if you type u here you can see out of five it has been pre-filtered all the values are pre-filtered which contains letter u in it so you can either type it or if you click on this drop down here it will list out all the values that are present in that multi select option set so either you can click select all in order to select all the values in your multi select option set at once or you can also click individually if you want to select some of the values out of all the options in multi select option set as of now i have selected india us and uk so you can see semicolon separated string values now you need to click save and this is how this control will be rendered on the user interface at the same time let us now see how it is viewed in view also so now you can see the values are displayed in the view as well in form of semicolon separated text not only that you can also filter out the values based on this selected values for example if i click on advanced find then if you want to find all accounts where country does not contains india the country contains data but the value is not india that means you need to select does not contains values if you select the one particular value or you can also select multiple values if it does not contains india then right now it will filter out all other 96 records are written which means this 96 records does not contain a country value named India. And if you change the operator to contains value, now it will return only one record, which is a datum corporation. This is how in advanced find also you can work with multi select option set by using these two operators. Might be knowing you can only uh, use equals does not equal contains data and does not contains data while working with regular option set, but with Multi select option set, you have these two new operators which you can utilize in your query as well. So, not only in advanced find, you can also use this filter criteria in the reports as well. So, this is how you can, you can create and use multi select option set in your Dynamics 365 9.0 version. So, if you are using any version prior to 9.0 version, you will not have this ability. So, in order to make use of this feature, you need to upgrade your Dynamics 365 instance to 9.0 version so on that note i will wind up this lecture and i hope that you have learned something new out of this video and if you like this video then please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to dynamics academy to find all such interesting videos in future as well and we highly recommend you to share our channel as well as this video to all your friends and colleagues who are working in microsoft dynamics 365 or who wants to start their career in Dynamics 365, which is one of the hottest and trending technology in the market today. So having said that, I take your leave and I hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.